Cy Hubbard, 33 verses with no redeeming social value. It was one day, I believe in May, when old Cy Hubbard to me did say, Barnum Circus has come to town, let you and I go see the clowns. So we sold our barley, oats, and corn, in fact we most cleaned out the barn. Then went and bought two brand new suits with white plug hats and red top boots, quite a sight. And when that circus got around, we too was the first ones on the ground. So I said to me, let's go get tight, pull down the tent and have a fight. Not much, says I, I'll raise no feud, for you see I was scared of the old, hey Rube! So I proposed some red lemonade and goober peas for which I paid. Twas a jolly good cuss who kept the store, so we thought, when he asked us to have some more. Says he, I like you boys first rate, don't stand back, I'll stand the treat. So Cy and I just pitched right in, and the way we ate and drank was a sin. But when we turned to go away, we heard that gosh darn sharper say, Four dollars quick, you rubes, don't wait or else to side show you'll be late. So I paid the cash like a darn fool cuss, and off to the side show we did rush. When we got inside, what sights we seen was enough to turn our whiskers green. There was a tattooed man all covered with ink and a dog-faced boy called the Missing Link. But the sight that barely made us shake was a great big sleepy-looking snake. So I pulled his jackknife out right quick and up to the cage he then did slip. And he stabbed the snake and jumped away but I laughed for the critter was stuffed with hay. Now a parrot in a cage close by soon caught the gaze of foolish sigh. So I didn't know this bird could talk, and when it called him a country gawk, so I got right mad, and just for spite, he knocked the bird clean out of sight. But a monkey who was in the cage, at Sai's conduct got in a rage, and to show his love for his feathered friend, a helping hand he allowed to lend. So he grabbed poor Cy by his red goatee And it made the whole crowd laugh to see Cy tug and pull to get away But the pesky monkey had come to stay And he pulled Cy's whiskers so all fired hard That his chin was as long as the neck of a gourd All at once I seed Cy smile and grin And I knew his troubles was at an end And sure enough with his knife so keen he cut them whiskers off close to his chin. When I see that face with a goatee off, I coughed and laughed and laughed and coughed. And two girls fainted at the terrible sight, and the rest of the crowd, they all took flight. Then the showman threw us out in a hurry, and the gosh darn band played Annie Laurie. Says I, what's the next thing on the docket? For we put that money in our pocket. As if to answer to my question, we both looked in the same direction. And there, before our very eyes, was a big balloon of enormous size. And a man in the basket in skin-tight clothes says, cut the rope and let her go. Says, sigh to me, I'll spoil his racket. And he grabbed the rope that was hitched to the basket. And he tried to hold the balloon to the ground, but the balloon was the strongest I soon found. And to the horror of the lookers on, up went poor Cy tied to the balloon. When I seed Cy going, I rushed to his aid, and a sudden dash for the rope I made. But my feet got tangled in the coil, and I, like Cy, left the native soil. Then up in the air like a rocket we shot, I called to the man in the balloon to stop. But he only smiled into my face And asked me how I liked my place Not much, says I, you skinny dude Then call me down, says he, you rude Says I decide to catch your knife And cut the rope and save our lives And sigh in his pocket, his hand did slip To get his knife, but he lost his grip 
and he lit right square upon my face, and then we both fell into space. Look out, we're coming, I cried out loud. Oh, we don't care, came back the crowd. But instead of alighting on the spot I meant, we came smack down on an animal tent. We lit the tent and it began to tear, and to save our lives I grabbed Sai's hair. But his hair broke off and down. I went with Sai on top, inside the tent. We lit so hard on the candy shop, the whole darn band in the circus stopped. And then the folks came running out to see what the racket was all about. And one of the troopers wanted to know if we had paid to get into the show. Why no, says I. We just dropped in. To try to hear a circus ring. He up with a club and he hit me with a crack and nearly broke my pesky back. This made me mad and up I rose and I hit him square upon the nose. He cried, hey Rube! And to my surprise, hey Rubes came running as thick as flies. And they grabbed us both and tore our clothes and said they'd teach us to steal in shows. We didn't steal in, says I to the crowd. Why no, says Sai, we dropped from the clouds. But a constable who had a badge on, like a dog's tail he kept a wagon on, told Sai and I to get inside and with him take a little ride. When at the calaboose he stopped, he showed us in and the door he locked and said for being two big J's he'd have to give us sixty days but once was enough for us once was enough for us we'll never go to another show for once was enough for us